the different uh, image pattern are due to the difference in the densities of the materials in the body like the gas uh, which is less dense and seen in the ear or trachea appear as more black and the bone which is denser and compact appear as white the metal is the most white thing water is also somewhat white the fat is also um, grayish black in the chest x-ray there are certain factors which uh, quantify the quality of the x-ray or radiograph especially in the chest the inspiration has an important role there is also the factor of the penetration which is controlled by the uh, technician uh, by using certain tools like MAS and um, KVP but you don't want to uh, read these things because this is the physics and uh, this is not in your curriculum and the next thing is the rotation of the patient patient should be um, in the uh, straight position and uh, it should be in the midline uh, any of you if uh, ever have gone with your grandpa or grandma or father or mother uh, have seen uh, the how the x-ray is going on or if you have um, like some rotation in the radiology department you can see that uh, we asked the patient when he or she came to the radiology department for having chest x-ray ki please change the gown which is uh, devoid of any button or any metallic object and we ask him or her to wear a simple cotton gown which is available in our department or patient may come with the simple cotton clothes without any pin zip or any other um, metallic thing or anything uh, and the chest x-ray can be done he or she is asked to um, like uh, take a full deep breath maximally which he or she can why because the lungs expand maximally and we can see the uh, costophrenic angle and the cardiophrenic angles also why because maximally and the fluid accumulates uh, in the costophrenic angles and slight blunt blunting of the um, angles might indicate might be very informative uh, to the uh, regarding the disease of the patient at full inspiration the diaphragm also uh, moves down and uh, it is roughly 8 to 10th rib posteriorly or the 5 to 6 rib, rib anteriorly this is the chest x ray ap view or pa view uh, posterior anterior view why um uh, first uh, i missed the thing um, usually the chest x-ray is in the pa view position why because we only adopt ap chest x-rays in the child who cannot stand like babies neonates etc and in the very sick icu patient because the i in these patients the ap chest radiograph uh, are taken and the x the multiple abnormalities are hidden by the enlarged heart which is actually not enlarged and in ap view the heart shadow is so bigger that it obscures the fine details and the many many pathologies this is the beautiful chest x ray simple normal chest x ray you can see different densities like you can see the these are the clavicles this is the lung parenchyma you can see here these are the fine bronchi or um, like bronchovascular markings you can see the tiny tiny and these are the costophrenic angles these both are they are so sharp this is the humerus and this is the acromion and um, coronoid and the scapula in the center you can see the trachea and these are the uh, vertebra so these are the posterior ribs and these are the anterior ribs which are obliquely placed this is the stomach bubble stomach uh, uh, gas shadow and it is normal it is the bowel shadow it is also normal this is the shadow of the pulmonary 
trunk pulmonary uh, right branch of the pulmonary artery under exposure if an under exposed chest radiograph the cardiac shadow is opaque and there is no visibility of the thoracic vertebra the lungs may appear much denser and whiter and you they might be misinterpreted interpreted as infiltrates you can see this is the normal chest x ray this is the under exposed and this is the over exposed with greater exposure of the chest chest radiograph the heart becomes more radiolucent and the lungs become darker in an over exposed chest x ray the air filled lung periphery becomes extremely radiolucent and often gives the appearance of lacking lung tissue so it might be misinterpreted as emphysema you can see this this is an over exposed lung film so this is not good uh, for anyone not for any purpose for any uh, for picking any pathology or any other so consultant or the simple doctor will say ki kis tarah ka x-ray karaya aapne now the positions the normally we adopt uh, i have already told you posterior anterior view what is posterior anterior view in which the x ray beam comes from behind and the um, cassette or the recording is in the front of the front uh, portion of the chest and we ask the patient to open the scapula and touch the cassette from the chest wall and put the chin on the chest uh, chin rest so that everything will be straight and the optimal position is acquired if we have some uh, we think is there is some collapse or some pathology and we want to locate in which segment of the lung or in which lobe of the lung is uh, is it lying so um, we uh, ask for the lateral film anterior posterior film as i have already told you are done in the neonates in the um, infants in the and in the patients who are in icu cannot stand and the lateral decubitus film which is usually for the effusion pleural effusion or any uh, pyoneumothorax or hydroneumothorax in which we want to know and and the um, effusion is so small that we cannot see on the pa or lateral view and we ask the patient to lie down uh, on the position uh, for few minutes uh, around 5 to 6 minutes and then uh, the x ray is shot down normal x ray i have told you there are clavicles trachea spinous process this is the pulmonary trunk you can see ki this is the pulmonary trunk you can see the convexity this is the aortic arch these are the heart borders this is in the midline there is heart the cp angle ribs i have already told you this is the lateral chest x ray you can see the spines this these are the vertebra vertebrae vertebral bodies and these are the intervertebral disc these are the posterior bony elements you can see the trachea heart is here you can see the trachea and uh, the different these are the bronchi now in this x ray this is the ap x ray anterior posterior x ray you can see okay there are certain things uh, certain wires are going on so you can predict okay this is an icu patient and you can see that the it is uh, it seems to be that there is uh, sort of some cardiomegaly and large heart and uh, pleural effusion bilaterally and the uh, mediastinum is also so much widened that some mediastinal injury is done, is here but this is not the case this is an ap x ray we are all misinterpreting the things due to the 
AP X-ray. So if you are reading the AP X-ray and how can you assess the large shadow? Large shadow of the heart, you can see uh, in the uh, much straighter picture of the clavicles and these ICU wires. Lateral decubitus. You can see the patient has effusion with air fluid level and he rest few uh, minutes on the side affected and this is the as I have already to, uh, told you earlier the fluid is white and you can see the uh, with the right arrow okay, this portion of the chest is completely blackish and this is the half blackish on the upper side as always the air goes upward and the water comes downward so this is the lateral decubitus film Anatomical structures in the chest, they are mediastinum, hilum, lung fields, diaphragmatic domes, pleural surfaces, bones and soft tissues. Mediastinum, what you would like to see in the mediastinum? The trachea should be centrally located or slightly towards right the aortic arch is the first convexity on the left side of the mediastinum i have told you the pulmonary artery is the next convexity on the left and the branches should be traceable as it fans out through the lungs and the lateral margin of the svc superior vena cava lies above the right heart border heart two third of the heart should lie on the left side of the chest with one third on the right the heart should take up less that of the heart uh, less than half of the thoracic cavity cardiothoracic ratio must be less than 50 percent and the left atrium and the left ventricle create the left heart border the right heart border is created entirely by the right atrium and the right ventricle lies anteriorly and therefore does not have a border on the uh, PA radiograph hilum. Hilum consists primarily of the major bronchi and the pulmonary veins and the arteries. They are usually not symmetrical but contain some basic structure which I have already told you. Uh, they may be at the same level but the left hilum is usually higher than the right and both hyla should be of similar size and density lungs are usually uh, show the markings throughout the lungs uh, they are usually due to the pulmonary arteries and the vein and they are continuing along the way to the chest wall both lungs should be scanned starting from at the apices and working downward comparing the left and right lung fields at the same level as it is done with auscultation. On a chest radiograph the minor fissure can often be seen as a faint horizontal line dividing the right middle lobe from the right upper lobe and the major fissures are not usually seen on the posterior anterior view because they are being viewed obliquely. Now, these uh, the bones are white in color and the calcification also appears as white. You can see fluid or blood white in color and it looks white in the sometime in the vessels and the normal ear uh, is black. This is the minor fissure. These are the oblique fissures, which are called major fissures. Diaphragm. Usually, the left dome is slightly lower than the right due to elevation by the liver. Located under the right hemi diaphragm, and the costophrenic recesses, recess or angle are formed by the hemi diaphragms and the chest wall. On the PA radiograph, the costophrenic recess is seen 
only on each side where an angle is formed by the lateral chest wall and the dome of each hemidiaphragm costophrenic angle pleura and the pleural spaces will only be visible when there is an abnormality present common abnormalities seen in the pleura include pleural thickening fluid air in the pleural space in the bones we want to know ribs um, clavicle scapula vertebra and proximal humeri Uh, first, I would like, as I have told you all the things, I would like to go back and want to show you the normal chest X-ray. I have again, I am again repeating because I have told you the text. This is the cos CP angle, costophrenic angle. This is the cardiophrenic angle. Slight blunting is due to cardio for the flat in the cost of uh, cardiophrenic angle. These are the hyla. You can see that usually they are symmetrical. There are some opacities in it which are due to the pulmonary vessels, including vein, arteries, and some small lymph nodes. If there are some enlarged nodes, then you, we can see the enlarged hyla. I will tell you later. This is the right heart border. This is the left heart border. This is the diaphragm. You can see. And this is the trachea. I have already. I am repeating it. This is the um, aortic shadow, and on just above is the SVC, superior vena cava shadow. Now, some abnormal chest radiographs because. You will get bored if I will not show you anything extra. Slit sign. This is a very common uh, terminology used uh, in the radiology regarding chest X-ray. Uh, it is seen when the borders of the heart, aorta, chest wall, they are obscured. Usually seen in consolidation or collapse. You can see. Okay, there is an area of consolidation collapse with ear bronchogram in the right middle lobe and the right heart border is not that much clearly defined. This is called slit sign, ear bronchogram. Ear, bro ear bronchogram are the linear branching things you can see. There is a whitish whitish area of consolidation and you can see the tiny um, uh, branching structure which is air filled. These are the area of air bronchogram seen in consolidation, pulmonary edema, non-obstructive pulmonary atelectasis, interstitial disease, neoplasm and normal expiration. Consolidation. This can be due to pus, fluid, blood, or cells. Now you can see there is an area of consolidation collapse in the left lower lobe. Atelectasis means collapse of the lung, lower volume loss, which indicates itself as a vascular crowding, rib crowding and elevation of the hyla etc but uh, this is not our topic for today then you can see complete collapse of the lung left lung is not visualized and the right lung is hyperinflated then you can see the consolidation collapse of the right upper lobe with elevation of left right hyla you can see both Hyla are also enlarged. This is due to some uh, neoplastic lesion in the right upper lobe, which causes secondary atelectasis and elevation of the hyla with bilateral enlarged um, hyla nodes. This is a case of cardiomegaly. You can see we cannot uh, clearly see, and along with some uh, pleural effusion on the left, which is indicative as a blunting of the left CP angle. 
heart is more than the 50 percent uh, of the we can measure it by drawing a line from here to here measuring it and then sorry drawing a line from the this whole chest wall and if it is more than half it means cardiomegaly pneumonias are air space opacity lobar consolidation interstitial uh, opacities they are they can be seen uh, with air bronchogram and collapse the opposite lung try to overcome it and it is hyperinflated pleural effusion you can see i am just bypassing the slides because um, um, topic for today was uh, the simple uh, chest x-ray but i am showing you these things because um, um, i think if you will not you are not shown the pathology you are not interested in the simple uh, normal topic so bilateral pleural effusion blunting of the cp angles pneumothorax means collection of air in the uh, pleural cavity you can see okay there are no lung markings beyond this line pleural pneumothorax pulmonary edema you can see icu wires multiple the chest uh, the x-ray is ap chest x-ray and we cannot see the lung uh, marking lung, the lungs clearly there are white shadowing congestive cardiac failure and large heart with bilateral bad wing appearance and the, some pleural effusion then these you can see the curly b lines pulmonary edema then emphysema emphysema uh, seems to be like over inflated uh, lungs there is uh, more air than the normal in the normal alveoli and the diaphragms are usually flat and um, there are lungs are over inflated then lung mass you can see some mass soft tissue density in anywhere in both lung fields it is in the left perihilar region in this case then some bony abnormalities like fracture of the ribs they can they can also be seen you can see that the fracture of the uh, different um, like um, ribs and there is some emphysema subcutaneous emphysema fracture of the clavicle then there is a mediastinum is fine there are pulmonary contusions evidences uh, uh, some opacities um, in the lung field then you can see the other structure chest tube ng tube okay these are the different things which you have to tell in your exam if you are observing you have to tell each and everything which you see then pulmonary contusion appearing as opacity opacified lung in this scapular fracture you can see the carina you can see the tip of the endotracheal tube you can see the deep right main stem intubation you can see the tip of endotracheal tube these are the trauma patients usually seen in icu sorry this is the case of pneumomediastinum extra findings there is widened mediastinum you can, this is the mediastinum you have to also comment on this there is obliteration of the aortic knob you cannot see aortic knuckle this size you can uh, see the right i mean stem bronchus is somewhat up and the ng is also deviated to the right nasal gastric tube there is a pleural cap sign okay hemothorax pleural cavity is filled with blood tension hemothorax uh, it is an emergency and whether tension hemothorax or pneumothorax um, the patient uh, is in a compromised state and with shortness of breath and immediately the thing which should be done is to uh, put a tube chest tube in the ipsilateral chest cavity pleural cavity basically 
diaphragm injuries you can see the bow is usually seen in the RDA and you can see the uh, different vowel loops sometimes in the chest cavity the diaphragm is not clearly visualized and it is irregular shaky and elevated then some allergic bronchopulmonary uh, aspergillosis you can see finger in glove appearance with multiple bronchoceles you can see lung abscess air fluid level you can see asbestosis this one then lymphoma usually due to the enlarged hyalur nodes hampton hum peripheral you can see that this peripheral triangular wedge shaped obesity usually seen in pulmonary embolism then multiple metastases cannonball soft tissue densities in bilateral lung fields then tb you can see multiple tiny sub centimeter nodules is scattered throughout both lung fields mediary tb tb is very common in our society